So, how exactly should we go about this? We want to have integrity, right? Well, of course we want to have integrity, Blake, but we also want money. Can't exactly eat people's respect and admiration. I do feel like my life will be better with money, but how can we sell out when we don't have anything to sell? And such is our conundrum. Of course, if we intend to do dark humor like we've been planning, we need to be prepared for the consequences. Fuck the consequences. We can't respect everybody's delicate sensibilities, so there's really only one option. And that is... Nothing is off limits. And I mean nothing. Mm, I'm sure you do, but uh, there's a lot of different ways to piss people off. Only if you're a pessimist or a sober optimist. So where does that put us on censoring ourselves? Against. It's not that simple, though. We have a habit of using colorful language in private that would get us socially crucified, and maybe actually crucified. I did give you permission to call me that, though. That doesn't matter. The people's responses will be dictated by pure, unbridled emotion! This is a good opportunity to demonstrate our integrity. Do we buckle, or do we put creative expression above all? We buckle. We buckle hard. That leaves a bad taste in my mouth. What if we're subtle about it? You know, we introduce the idea, tease it, and then bam, hit it with both barrels. Of racism? Using it for something like comedic effect isn't necessarily racist. That's not what the memes will say. Remember Pepe? The internet frog? If you give the wrong crowd the wrong idea, they'll just co-opt your message for their own nefarious purposes. I see your point, but what if we just, like, straight up disavow those groups? I mean, it'd be easy. Racists are easily offended. Yeah, but even if we manage to not accidentally become champions of white supremacy, there's gonna be people who just miss the message and focus on the word itself. Is it even possible to please the people who will miss the point no matter what? You aren't wrong. I'm just not a gambling man. Look, it's as straightforward as it could possibly be. It would practically be social commentary. South Park did it. Yeah, except we're not South Park, so you really aren't convincing me. Look at me. If we want to have integrity, we have to stick to our guns, right? I'm not sure I like these guns, though. Be careful. That sounded like a statement about gun control. Oh, oh, shit. My bad. Context is everything, all right? Context is what separates manslaughter and murder. For future reference, bad example to use, but uh, I see your point. So you agree with me? If we fall on this sword, I am blaming it on you. I guess that's fair, Whitey. Well, I'm glad that we got this settled, my ne- My, 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 my never mind. <laughs> Wait, we're not South Park? We're not South Park. Not this South might Park. come as a shock to you, but we're not made of construction paper. Even though I feel really two-dimensional sometimes. I, I feel that you feel two-dimensional sometimes. <laughs> Y'all, man, shit, my bad. That was Killmonger. That was racist. <laughs> that was racist. It was a sting anyway. I was going to use it to convince people that you were actually a Nazi. Just look, if we check his internet history, aha, Pepe. The frog. <laughs> I knew it. I, I just had it. If you would cut your hair, this would have been a problem. If Samson had, hadn't have cut his hair, he would have beaten the Philistines. Yeah, but are you Samson? Do you have, like, mad muscles and gorgeous locks? No. Do you have a thing for Samson? He did have gorgeous locks, bro. See? That's, fair. That's kind of the point. That's fair. Of Samson. Alright. <laughs> Isn't that dying? Yeah. It's almost dead. <laughs> and I need it for my lines. <clears throat> Good evening. And if you enjoyed this video, I appreciate that. Now, if you would be so kind as to bludgeon the like button for me, I think you'll find it'll be quite worth your while.